Hello, I'm pleased to welcome Mr. James Zahn, Director of the Investment and Enterprise Division at UNCTAD and Editor-in-Chief of the World Investment Report. Mr. Zahn is also the driving force behind UNCTAD's World Investment Forum, the fourth edition of which will take place in Geneva from the 13th to the 16th of October. Thank you for this opportunity to talk about this key event for the investment community. James, can you tell us what the World Investment Forum is about? The forum has in fact an important mission, and that is to provide an international platform for global investment stakeholders to deal with key and emerging investment issues. Let me give you some context. The global economic governance has different pillars. That is, a multilateral monetary institution, the IMF, and a multilateral trading institution, the WTO. But there's no such an institution for investment. Now, in the absence of such a system for investment, the World Investment Forum provides a global platform to gather policymakers, the private sector, and other stakeholders for high-level discussions and action on investment policy making. The forum comes at a crucial time for the development community, as world leaders work to formulate the post-2015 development agenda. Is there a role to play for the investment community in this important process? Yes. Your question goes to the heart of this year's investment forum. We have formulated our theme around the issue of investing in sustainable development. The aim with this year's forum is to get state leaders, business executives, and other stakeholders to explore ways and means to involve the private sector in delivering sustainable development. Findings from this year's uh, World Investment Report indicate that the total investment need in developing countries to deliver on the sustainable development goals will be about 3.9 trillion US dollars per year. But the current levels of investment leave an investment gap of some 2.5 trillion US dollars. So it is clear that the private sector will need to governize our efforts if we want to make progress. These issues will be, the, will be discussed at the forum. Apart from government leaders and global CEOs, who else will be represented at the forum? Besides top, top officials and executives, we have the heads of sovereign wealth funds, st stock exchanges, investment promotion agencies, investment treaty negotiators, and civil society. We'll also have parliamentarians and the top academics. That's quite a broad spectrum of stakeholders. How will the forum respond or reflect this diversified range of interests? This year's forum is indeed diversified. We did this deliberately to expand our coverage of issues related to sustainability. We have sessions dedicated to highly pertinent topics such as human rights, employment, health, women empowerment, urban planning, and others. To enable us to present this variety in a convincing manner, we have partnered with other lead institutions to co-organize special sessions. These include, for instance, the FAO, the ILO, U, uh, UNAs, UNEP, the WTO and the World Bank, just to name a few. We also expect more than 2,000 participants from both the developing and the developed world to attend. The aim is to make this multi-stakeholder events as representative as possible. This is, after all, a watershed moment to define investment's contribution to the sustainable development agenda. James, it certainly sounds like Geneva will be the place to be during the second week of October for those with an interest in investment and development issues. And it will be interesting to follow the outcomes of this meeting. We wish you the best for your preparations for this important event. and want to thank you for coming into the UN studio today. Thanks for inviting me here.